The Mediterranean loggerhead turtle, the Coretta Coretta, is listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Once found all over the Mediterranean basin, this ancient species is now at risk from the ever-growing threats caused by marine pollution, fisheries bycatch and loss of nesting habitats. Now we don't have exact data available about the population of the Coretta Coretta turtles because the number of juveniles among them is not known as they cannot be followed but we have data available about the number which are mature enough to lay eggs and that's around uh, 2,000 in the Mediterranean area. In Turkey, on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea, a small tourist destination, Chirali, practices a model of turtle conservation based on ecotourism and local community involvement. Bayram Kutler, a local farmer, began working to protect the turtles of Chirali in 1993 and has dedicated his life to saving this endangered species ever since. He believes that the conservation of turtles has simultaneously helped the local community in creating a solid ecotourism economy. Turtles are the symbol of this village because the turtles saved the Chirali coast. These places were to be rented. They saved us from big golf resorts. We were against it and wanted to leave this coast to the turtles. Chirali is a small tourist resort which boasts approximately a hundred local family-owned hotels. Just 40 years ago, only two families lived here and both raised sheep for a living. Today, the local families make a living from ecotourism, combined with organic fruit and vegetable farming. Ecotourism, uh, eco-agriculture and uh, Coretta Coretta turtles, all three together reflect natural life and uh, a sustainable one. We explain to the tourists who come to our hotel, firstly, that this is a protected area and a beach where endangered Coretta Coretta turtles lay eggs. If they go to the beach at night, we suggest that they do not uh, turn on lights or, or build fires. If they happen to see a turtle or, or a hatchling, we advise them not to touch uh, or disturb them. The local people in Chirali, including the restaurant and hotel owners, are self-regulating the area through a number of initiatives. Today, the restaurants are positioned away from the waterfront, leaving the beach for recreational use only. And at night, the restaurants use only dimmed lights and people are not allowed on the beach after 8 in the evening. We do things voluntarily. We cannot force the villagers. For example, one day we talk to them, we say, let's clean the beach today. They say, OK. From the young to the old, everybody comes over and cleans. We do cleaning every 15 days uh, or once a month. You can see that. Chirali and tourism go hand in hand and the beach is not closed. So the beach is used by both uh, Coretta Coretta turtles and the tourists who come here. The tourists who come here are very respectful to what has been done here. The World Wildlife Fund has been part of this initiative since 1994 one year after Bayram started up the project. In the nesting period from May to September, a volunteer group consisting of three people from WWF, two local residents and three university students patrol the 3.2 kilometer beach at night from eight in the evening to seven in the morning. The work we do here is to warn and to prevent uh, people who uh, go to the beach, who swim and who light fires. I mean, those who can affect the hatchlings and mother turtles in any way, because the people acting that way, uh, turning on uh, lights, for example, can cause baby turtles to go in the wrong direction and making noise uh, causes mother turtles to get stressed and go back. 
The volunteers are also responsible for spotting and locating the mother turtles when they come up onto the beach during the night to nest and lay eggs. After our volunteers enable the mother turtles to lay eggs comfortably, they tag the turtles and measure them. They register all the necessary data so that we can compare the growth rate of the turtles when we meet them again in the following years. Uh, after they lay eggs, the uh, cages are put around the eggs in the morning. The cages protect each turtle nest on the beach during the one and a half months that it takes for the baby turtles to hatch. The eggs are buried 60 centimeters below the surface. And once they hatch, it takes two or three days for the hatchlings to reach the surface. Every morning, the volunteers check for hatchlings that haven't quite made it to the surface during the night. We check the entrances of the nests where the hatching is due or where the hatchling has already started with the traces of the baby turtles coming out. We rescue the baby turtles uh, which get stuck at the entrance of the nest and can't breathe and which will possibly die due to the heat from the sun and we release them into the sea. <laughs> When it's time for the volunteers to monitor the number of hatchlings early in the morning, tourists are also allowed to join in the fun. They can even help guide the hatchlings to the sea, as long as they don't touch them. We take the tourists to the hatchlings and to the nests you can see in the mornings that we have many observers. Uh, they join us and observe the work. There has been an obvious increase in the number of tourists, especially families with children coming here in the summer season to show the turtles to their, their kids. I am very proud that I have served my village, uh, my country and my environment. The results are obvious. I witnessed myself what has been realized, so I, I am honored. <laughs>